So you got any questions for him? Because uh, I know just one of them, you know, just hit him with a couple. Well, I think you got all the church stuff and all the radio stuff. But I wanted to ask Lady B about another one of her ventures, which is in fashion, which all girls love. So tell us about your foray into the fashion industry. Oh my goodness. So I have a new line. Uh, it's called Confident Wear. We I just launched uh, probably about three months ago online, and it took off way faster than I anticipated. Um, I will be in Rivertown Mall uh, in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited for that. But it's fashion for all women to wear who can feel confident, plus size women fashion, down to size zero. So we have clothes for every woman, even young girls. My daughter started her own business. And so, um, yeah, so it's for you to feel confident in everything that you wear. Sexy, sassy, confident. That's the goal. I seen it online, so I was super excited about it, and I plan on um, patronizing your business. So I'm excited for you. We do at Rivertown Mall. So we start on the fifth, on the 14th. We'll be opening at Rivertown Mall, right next door to White House Black Park. And for you guys out there in the city of Grand Rapids, that would be the new mall, as we still call it. <laughs> Right. right, it's been out there for how many years, 20 years, but we always still say the new mall. So now that we're living in a day and age where everybody gets a, a, a biopic done about their life, you guys are famous in the city of Grand Rapids. Who do you think would portray you in a movie? Wow. Who would portray? Probably like, I'm told that I look like Deborah Cox. <laughs> Okay. I'm talking about like Rick Ross. <laughs> Deborah Cox and Rick Ross. Well, that, that, that's a combination right there. Rick Ross. We were at a concert yes. and he got stopped. And almost, he got us quite a few free things too because people actually kept saying Rick Ross is here. And I said, don't you tell them, don't correct them yet. I know that's right, just get going. Don't, don't correct them. First one. Get, get, the, like get the dittos first, the first and then correct them. Right. It's the beard, it's yeah. the beard. I'm like, what? Rick Ross. Don't correct them until they get the free stuff. But, but it, did, yeah. it did make me think about a diet. It did make me, it did, it did make me, I thought maybe I should, maybe it's time. You start questioning yeah, my life. Right, right. It made me question my life, sir. It made me think about my life. It made me give my oh life. My God. Well, at least if those two portrayed you, we know it'd be yeah. some singing and it'd be some wings. There you go. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Flat, so flat, so flat, flat, so flat, so flat, so flat, We go a lot of places and people will run up and ask me, is she um, from Mary Mary? Like, literally. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, you could be in the family. Yeah. 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 I was all around the grocery store. Yes. Yeah. And I, I almost signed an autograph, but they would not pay for my groceries, so I declined. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go with Erica Campbell for you, and we got to find someone different than Rick Ross. I like, I like yeah. Rick. Yeah. got to find somebody different. But I like his money. He got, like, <laughs> Mm. He got that paper. Yeah, he does. He mm. got that paper. Maybe, maybe. But, but we do need somebody different. Yeah. I, I might have to think what about What do you think would be good to play with? Denzel. I would say um Hill Harper. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Good. Right? All right. right. Hill Harper. Can you guys see it? Yeah. Absolutely. I see that. I see it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pastor J and Lady B for joining us on the Red Carpet. Hope you had a great experience. Thank you as well. Find your name, please. Uh Andrea Wallace. Mary Beth and Drake. You're a DJ, right? Okay. Well, right now. Like, like See, I do my homework on people okay. within the city of Grand Rapids. Tim Tap obviously does not No, do that. I didn't know she was hearing it. She hearing it. Hurry, <laughs> hurry. Hurry, hurry. Yes. Okay. That's her. And she's right. actually in a nominee tonight for a awesome. Beat Award. So tell us how excited you are to be here and your feelings about being nominated by the people in your own community. Yeah, no, I'm really excited to be here. Um, and I have, this is actually my first time being able to be at the event. I just actually moved back to Grand Rapids just this year. I was gone for a while, so just getting back and everything. So it's nice to like, you know, reconnect with everyone and get reintegrated back into the community. Tell us about your experience as a female DJ. Tell us about any obstacles you may have faced 
any adverse adversities and how you overcame those? Hard question, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess like, I, it, it's interesting. Like I've definitely encountered some obstacles in the you know, over the years. Some of which has to do with like being a woman, like in the industry and everything it does. It does require a little bit of finesse, you know, dealing with certain situations. Um, you know, sometimes it requires fighting a little bit harder to make sure we get paid for it. Sometimes it requires, you know, some mentoring also for folks who are coming underneath us to make sure that they get 